very superstitious A ladder's about to fall is one that we think is really timely um it is should artists be political but we also have subtitled it art in the age of trump yeah so uh i don't know if there's a such thing of an artist being apolitical that was going to be one of my questions should artists be political should art be political yeah I, i i think art is always political Okay, what do you mean? Uh, everything is a point of view. Okay, I like that. Um, and so, to some extent, um, you're always expressing a certain point of view. Okay. Now, um, there are certain point of views that are less controversial than others. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I, I think, to some extent, um, at least I feel like art should kind of poke. Okay. As society, so oh, wow. so there should be a uh, it, it should ruffle the feathers of society. I'm not saying every artist should, okay, but I okay. think art has just like speech, okay, it um, it has a purpose where it it, it should kind of make you think, okay, and it should challenge okay. you um, in ways that might make you change your mind, okay, uh, it might make. You change your so should it be outlook. objective or should it be polarizing? Because that was one of the follow-up uh, questions. That uh, in this day and age, there are some things that are completely polarizing and don't really. I guess because it, in order to change somebody's mind, generally you have to you have to listen to them. You have to give them at least some credit for some part of their position or why they came to that conclusion before you can convince them that you have good points. And a lot of times now, especially recently, people will say something that completely just shuts down the other side. Right. So I, I think that, again, that's where I I don't know if um, and maybe changing minds is not necessarily the right phrase. OK, um, maybe the, the right phrase is at least allowing the other side to be heard. OK. And okay. to at least be able to realistically um, understand mm-hmm. where the under, other side is coming from. Now, I, I know sometimes you can kind of push it to the limits. Like, mm-hmm. for instance, it's, it's hard to have uh, reasonable conversations with Nazis. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, you, you, that, cause, cause that part that, that of, part of the stream is, mm-hmm. is, is so pushed. To this stream. But you can, I guess I can even still see how they got to that position if you understand that, that they're feeling like their voice is not heard well, and they believe it's other people's but, but to fault. The, to some extent, but when you start talking about completely killing a, yeah, a race of people, people. Because you don't feel heard. Right. I mean, yeah. you can't go to that race yeah. of people and say, don't you understand my point as to why I'm killing you? I mean, that that's that's <laughs> not is why going to you. happen. Right. 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 Now, this is so. So again, there's these there's certain extreme point of views mm-hmm. that you know I, I don't know if that's ever going to work with mm-hmm. you know and and that's where the, the quote unquote word tolerance mm-hmm. comes in you know and I'm not saying it ever works in a Nazi situation mm-hmm. as much as it can be with religious views. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. If you are a Christian, mm-hmm. you believe that, you know, you must be born again. You have to believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins and all mm-hmm. the rest of this kind of stuff. I mean, that is an unmovable force mm-hmm. to deal with. Right. And mm-hmm. so when you're dealing with people of other religions, you're never going to get to a point to say, hey, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Because if you say that they're right, right. then that completely undermines your, your belief. Yeah. Yeah. And so that goes to a whole thing of tolerance. Mm-hmm. And so 
I, and, and again, I think that sometimes, you know, um, you know, religious beliefs, political beliefs, they kind of have to be shaken a bit. Mm-hmm. And I think that's what art does. Okay. You know, art, I mean, or I guess any other form of speech, but we're talking about art. So, yeah. so I, I feel that sometimes that art has a duty to do that, mm-hmm. you know, but art has a struggle to deal with too because there's this constant competition between art and commerce. Yeah. So, you know, you ruffle enough feathers out there, nobody's going to hear you. Right. So. Or if, I guess it depends on the purpose too because if you're on the dance floor, I'm not sure how much political, you know, I, you go to the club to, to have a good time. You're trying to enjoy yourself and relax and let all the problems. Well, that, that's if, where if people are using it as that for that function. Well, that's where things kind of getting political uh-huh. in a different way helps. I mean, like, uh-huh. let's just take Prince's 1999. That was, for his time, it was a dance yeah. floor hit. It was the rest of his time. Yeah. He's talking about in the year 2000, we're going to blow up the world. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I, I'm just saying, yeah, that, I mean, true. you know, yeah. so, so it's a heavy topic. Yeah, or even let's go crazy. Yeah, right, yeah. It's the way that certain ways that it's handled, mm-hmm. you know, and 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 so that you can be, in a way, subversive mm-hmm. in what you're saying, where people are partying to what you're talking about, mm-hmm. but you still kind of planting your mm-hmm. message. And so, and that that's where art comes in. Yeah. That, that's where... Clever use of lyrics, right. clever use of, you know, imagery, metaphors yeah. mm-hmm. and, and imagery mm-hmm. and all the rest of the stuff. That's where all that stuff comes in. I mean, you know, from Shakespeare to yeah. a lot of these things weren't necessarily meant to just, just entertain. Or, or to just be understood mm-hmm. just by Hopefully. taking it literally. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. You know, that, that sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper mm-hmm. and you might see that, oh, wow, this artist was a lot more subversive mm-hmm. in what they were saying. And, and again, I, I think that that's the the greater part is that if we're not constantly questioning. Mm-hmm. And I guess um, I, you, 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 you kind of made that point in the past that 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 has even happened politically with things like uh, acceptance of gays and things like that. That over the years, things that seem like, oh, we're just laughing and having fun, you right. know, sitcoms and shows and and things. Yeah, I and mean, then over the years, they've been planting the seeds right. so that now, you know, it, it, it just seems like it's a natural evolution, but it it, the seeds have been planted in things that were supposed to be just fun and just entertaining. Right, and, and I mean, it's, it's, it's even changed the way the most conservative cr- Christians refer to homosexuals now. I mean, there's a certain amount of them having to say, oh, yeah, we're, you know, we're fine with them, this, we're fine with them. Mm. And that wasn't true right. 30 years yeah. ago. I mean, yeah. they, they they wouldn't say these yeah. things. So, so yeah, I mean, and, and, and it all kind of started by kind of, you know, bringing it or normalizing it within the culture. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, and art is a big part of that. It definitely mm-hmm. plays a role in, in making that happen. So so I, I think the problem that we have sometimes with art in the age of Trump, especially since a lot of the people, artists tend to be left wing, mm-hmm. is that sometimes we can just kind of talk to our own echo chamber. Yeah, so I and have so that it, too. Yeah, yeah, it becomes ahead. easy to just criticize Trump to say, oh, Trump's horrible, he's horrible, he's horrible, Or just horrible. the opposite, if you yeah. happen to support him, to just say, yeah, he's the greatest thing since He's the greatest thing, and all the other people Christ. are just horrible, 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 horrible. Right. And that, that, that to me is sort of like, it becomes too easy. That's what I was going to say, is that some people are being political in, in, in an effort to get publicity. Yes. In an effort to get people to click and like and right. whatever else. Right, right. I mean, it's, it's like sometimes with the com- the comedy that we see with Trump, I mean, it's, it gets to a point where it just gets flat out just cool. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, the way you might talk about his wife, the way you might talk about his kids mm-hmm. and all the rest of this kind of stuff. I mean, look, I, I'm all in favor of a great joke and... You know, <laughs> if yeah. it's a great joke, right. I think your it's point is that joke. sometimes it's it's not funny because either one is based too much in reality and it's hurtful, right. or it's just not a funny joke. Or, or sometimes it's not even based in reality. It's just that it's just hurtful. It's mm-hmm. just the way that you're going about doing it. Mm-hmm. It just seems like to me it's more malicious mm-hmm. and less meant to be funny. Mm-hmm. And so to me that that that's that's where it kind of just crosses the line. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that a lot of 
you know, and I'm not saying all of it, but I'm saying a lot of stuff that I'm starting to see mm-hmm. is starting to get to that point. Mm-hmm. And it's it's because he's too easy of a target. Yeah. It's like right now he's yeah. too easy. I mean, you know, and I'm I'm sorry, Trump supporters. I mean, really, I you know, I, I I don't I don't mean this. I mean this in the most loving way possible. But Trump in its in itself is a joke. I mean, you know, meaning that just the way he says stuff, mm-hmm. the man is a walking comedian, whether he intends to be yeah. or not. Yeah. You know, he just is. Yeah. I think sometimes he does intend to be that way, and sometimes mm-hmm. he doesn't. But just him being himself, mm-hmm. it, you know, and that he's a charismatic figure. I mean, right, and, and yeah. that, and that's why. And that, there's a certain comical element right. to charisma. And it wouldn't you be know, there. he probably wouldn't have won if it he wasn't wouldn't for be there. Him. So, so, so that's that's why I just think sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, it's like it, it kind of go well over the top, especially since you really didn't do a lot of that stuff with Obama. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it definitely did not. And I think some people call themselves sinking to his level. Because because the things that especially recently with you know the expletives you know that yeah, he but that he hurls and the insults and things like that I think people call themselves meeting him on his ground, but but just some of the stuff that they're doing yeah. is just it again it's 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 beyond the pale mm-hmm. you know and I understand that you might say that I mean you know when when he's gonna refer to, you know, football players as SOBs and all the rest of that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, he definitely crossed the line when he does something like that. But comedians, you're just smarter than that. You're funnier than that. I mean, you're you're more clever than that. You can do that. You can make fun of Trump without just being completely cruel. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it, it just you have to work a little bit more a on your harder, job. Right. But there's other stuff. There's people on the left to make fun of, too. Yeah. And so I, I just think in a way that our whole body politic, the media, all the rest of the stuff, I think really it's, it's it needs to be called out. Mm-hmm. And it needs to be called out by our artists, you mm-hmm. know, whether it's comedians, whether it's sitcoms, whether it's um, musicians, mm-hmm. whoever, it's like um, I think we all kind of have that responsibility to call out the ridiculousness. Ridiculousness, yeah. This, 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 this. <laughs> uh, wherever it shows up, whether it shows up in the White House or whether it shows up on the left, we got to call it out. And then I part mean, of part of being an artist to me is sharing your heart and your soul and what is. you believe. So. You, you, if you're genuinely sharing of yourself, you naturally will end up sharing your viewpoint right. in one way or the other. So. You, 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 we've got to we've got to do that, and we can't be afraid of uh, either side. That your right. side is and true, th- on somebody's safe place. And yeah, making people feel uncomfortable. And, yeah, you know, I mean, and, and when I start hearing about universities and. Shutting down, you know, when uh, Milo Yiannopoulos and other right-wing people or, or Ann Coulter or any of these people, and they act like they can't allow these people to come on the campuses. Mm-hmm. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, that, that's what education is about. Yeah, that, that, that to me, to is the dumbest thing in the world. So, the people on the left, I mean, if, if your points are that good, Stand them up to arguments. Yeah. Let people argue about it. Yeah. That's that's what America's about. It's mm-hmm. about a marketplace of ideas. You know what you do in that marketplace of ideas? You pick up this one. You pick up this mm-hmm. one. You pick up. You pick them. You pick up the ones that are the best ones. Mm-hmm. You you've got. But you have to hear all sides. You got to be able to hear all sides. Yeah. You know, and and, and 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 if people pick up and rumble racist ideology, then we know who the racists are. Right. You know, and well, if they're talking and, it, the racist stuff, let them speak so we know who they are. Yeah. And, and I mean. And that kind of goes to Bill Maher's point that he's encouraging the left wing people to go, to go on Fox, Fox News, News. Yeah, to share, crazy. yeah, to share right. your you, ideas. You got to. I mean, and, and yeah, you're gonna be in a in a point where it's gonna be unfair. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have five right wing people against your one, mm-hmm. and 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 they're gonna beat you up. But keep going. Yeah, you know, because yeah. that's what you've got to allow that side to be heard. Yeah, you know, I mean, there's this uh, wonderful guy. 
who um, calls into like this Christian radio station that I <laughs> listen to on oh, so many different occasions. A uh, guy by the name of John from Detroit yeah. calls into this Christian radio station. He comes in with these left wing views, and oh, it's great God. to hear that voice come out because here you are in this echo chamber yeah. where all they're hearing is this the one same. side, right. and then you hear another argument. Yeah, and that's what you have to have. Yeah. We've got to have that. Got to have that type of balance. Yeah. So. So and I, I think to some extent we're artists that that's that's our role as artists, mm -hmm. um, media people, whatever, mm -hmm. is to make sure that, you know, I, I think all sides are heard. So I like that. Yeah. Okay, um and and of course also there has been a history of political of artists being political. I mean, you know, back to the sixties and, and yeah. it, it shaped it helped shape the America we live in. And that goes back it to your point. It, I it mean, helps shape. And sometimes you're not necessarily sure. It's like, you think about like... Um, Neil Young. Uh, Neil Young or... or, or, or um, Revolution by the Beatles. Oh yeah. You know where he says is one part in there where he says you can count me in, and then he says out. Mm -hmm. So he's sort of like, I don't know if I want to be part right. of this. Yeah. I don't know if this is you know John right. Lennon is saying that. Is that? I don't know if I want to be part of right now. <laughs> right. A little bit too much for me. Right. You know. Whereas Neil Young, you know, he was very hypercritical about. George Bush, mm -hmm. and where, you know, people who came to his concerts were walking out oh, on him. Yeah, but he still he stood up care. for what he, he still believed. Did. Yeah. He still yeah. kept doing it. Yeah. You know, and, and to me, that's that's what our, I mean, and I understand, look, I, I know you got to feed, yeah. you got to feed your kids, you got, you know, rent to pay, yeah. you got medical bills to pay, y'all, rest that kind of stuff to pay, so I understand every single artist can't go to that extreme, mm -hmm. but you know, there needs to be voices like that, mm -hmm. you know, so so I, I and, and art does help mm -hmm. to do that, because even with those George Bush people who may have walked out he may have planted a seed yeah. you know, I mm -hmm. mean, the, the Dixie Chicks pretty much torpedoed their whole career mm -hmm. by speaking out mm -hmm. you know, about how they felt with the Bush administration yeah. Yeah. you know, because, you know the a lot of their audience was very conservative mm -hmm. and so, I mean it, it that really kind of torpedoed them yeah. I mean, you didn't hear much about them after that yeah. uh, but they took a stance yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, we think about Pearl Jam taking a stance against Ticket Ticketmaster yeah. you know, so yeah. So um, that yeah. there are risks, but, yeah. but that's part of your, you know, that's part of your calling. That's part of your function. Right. It it, it is. I mean, it, and to me, I I think that that should uh, I don't know. It should motivate and mm -hmm. it should kind of speak through your art. That's but that's just me. I mean, I I, I kind of <laughs> feel that way. So all right. So what do you guys think? Do you believe that artists should be political, or do you believe that they should? Uh, steer clear of that. Yeah, they're set up and play. Right, and that's, that, that was the, yeah. the comment I read. they're kind of like robots, you know? Yeah, right. Which I think, I think that's the dumbest thing ever. I mean, even if you think my political views are stupid, mm -hmm. I'm going to have them. Yeah, that's we true. We all Whether vote. or not you're sharing. Right, right. Is, Whether or not I'm sharing them or whatever yeah. else. But to think that, oh, I just want you to entertain me. Don't tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. If you can't take what an artist thinks or yeah. you can't like an artist's song but disagree with their politics, mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. That means that yeah. you only could listen to people who 100% agree with you? Yeah. I don't know who those people are. Yeah. I don't even have that in my own house. <laughs> I, I, I don't, who are you? Right, you're right. <laughs> if, if you got people who agree with you 100%, I'm going to tell you this right now. They're, They're lying, lying to you. you. <laughs> They're lying to you. Not telling you the truth. They're lying. Everybody okay? Lies. Exactly. Clearly they're lying right. to you. Because you're living in an echo chamber. You're living in a fantasy world that does not exist. Right. You know, it doesn't exist. Yeah. So, yeah. so I love to deal with it. Share your opinion in the yeah. comments below because maybe you can enlighten us with some of your input. Right. We would love to hear from you. Don't lie to me. <laughs> Tell me the truth. I need to shut up. Say it. Oh I can take it. Say okay. it. Okay. Um, say well. it. Say it. Say it. <laughs> okay. Upcoming. Uh, Record Store Day is in one week, and we are dressed for the occasion um, because it is in April, nice and springy, and we have done a special release for record stores. Um, there are 25 record stores on our list. We've done a special retro yeah. release. It's a CD called Honey Dip Acoustic Set, and again, it's bringing a smile um, to the people, hopefully, who hear it. It's an EP. 
but you can only get it through the record stores. So make sure you ask your local record store for the Bourgeoisie Paper Jam Honey Dipped Acoustic Set. And again, it's only available through the record stores. You can download the list in the um, description. Also, Gear Fest. Is yeah, 2019 up again. is coming up yep. in June, like the third week of June. Yeah, June 21st, 22nd. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's coming up soon. And then we are looking at London. We yes. haven't quite baked in the dates for that. Yeah. So I guess, you know, hopefully we'll do an episode before we actually end up in London. And then we'll try to do something similar that we did with um, South by Southwest, yeah. where we vlog and then get the videos up and out so that yeah. way you can see them sooner than later. So the thing in London that may or may not happen is that I'd like to get to Liverpool. Yeah, so, and Stonehenge. Yeah. You like it, but it's not right. It's it's yeah. it's way both, far. Both are out. nice like day trips. Yeah. In order to do it. So, you know, I think like Liverpool's like 180 miles away. Yeah. From and there's from nothing London. And, um, you know, kind of in between. Is, yeah. It's kind of like that. Yeah, out in the middle of nowhere. But I'm Stonehenge sure is, yeah. is mystical. It just seems like it we is. have to do Stonehenge. Right. I, I don't know. I, I go to Stonehenge and maybe channel a song. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> So look for that. Um, the links are in the description below. As always, make sure you subscribe because we don't want you to miss anything. And we're wishing you love, peace, and chicken grease.